Um, hi, welcome. So, um, ang ipapakita ko sa inyo ngayon is um, kung paano mag-attach ng um, documentary requirements uh, sa EBPLS uh, for your uh, business uh, permit application. Um, both uh, using mobile and um, personal computer or desktop. So, uh, ang first part is uh, ito sa mo mobile. Uh, gamit ko ngayon is mobile. Mobile phone ko. So, uh, for this uh, video, let's assume na naka-register na kayo, naka-create na kayo ng account. Tsaka, naka-apply. Uh, apply na kayo. Tapos na kayo sa part 1, taxpayers information. Part 2, business information. At, sa, at nasa part 3 na tayo, business activity or requirements. At saka, let's further assume na naka-add na kayo ng line of business at saka capital investment. And also, um, I'm showing you na meron na siyang um, three um, attachments na na-upload sa kanyang um, applications, uh, the Barangay Clearance, Contract of Lease, DTI. Uh, let's just assume na binalikan nyo siya tapos uh, mag-upload pa kayo ng other requirements so um, I'll also show you uh, for example it's um, uh, makikita natin na successful na siya na, na upload um, if may uh, green check na siya like sa barangay clearance yung wala pang uh, green check uh, yung red X uh, hindi pa yun na na attach siya ng um, requirement or document so ipapakita ko rin sa inyo kung um, paano mag-override ng document let's say for example sa barangay clearance na attach nyo na siya but uh, later on nakita nyo na hindi siya clear or mali pala yung document na na-attach nyo um, pwede nyo siyang i-override um, so uh, dito sa iba ba sa requirement name select nyo lang yung um, name ng requirement na gusto nyo i-upload o in this case i-override so barangay clearance choose file and then camera okay so let's say for example ito yung um, barangay clearance so ito maliit talaga yung text um, if ganito just make sure na readable pa rin siya after upload uh, sa ABPLS Okay. So I can see readable pa naman siya. So check ko to. So not na select na siya. So click na lang upload file. Okay, so naglo-load pa siya. Once na load na siya, it only means na na override na natin yung um, attachment sa barangay clearance yung most recent na yung nakatouch dyan so um, let's say for example um, AFS naman at saka ITR so um, as we all know AFS or audited financial statement and ITR hindi lang single page yan uh, multiple page yan so um, what uh, we suggest is um, you use a an app uh, called Adobe Scan uh, ito, yung nakikita nyo sa um, screen, Adobe Scan um, available, available ito sa Google Play free lang tapos um, yeah, uh, just install it uh, download and um, what it does is um, gagawa siya ng PDF file um, most especially if um, you need to attach um documentary requirements na multiple page hindi lang siya um, single page uh, if single page lang uh, no problem, pwede lang siya gamitin yung camera natin sa phone but uh, what I'm showing you now is um, if multiple page siya, so in this example that we're doing is uh, let's say um, audited financial statement or ITR so uh, let's say 3 pages siya ito, yung page 
let's say ito yung first page um, on lang natin yung um, uh, flash so hopefully klaro pa rin siya yung example ko sorry for the example ang lilit ng text but as long as hindi steady lang yung kamay nyo uh, readable pa naman siya so as you can see my uh, one uh, na, one uh, blue na number one sa lower right or lower right corner sa screen ko so that signifies the number of pages so it's for example page 2 na yan so 2 pages na naka indicate na yung blue number 2 check right to third page Okay, so, pwede natin ma-preview. So, so, I can see readable pa naman siya. So, okay. Okay. So, uh, if you notice, tatlong pages na siya. Page 1 of 3, two, uh, page 2 of 3, page 3 of 3. So, uh, up the upper right hand corner, uh, may save PDF. Click na natin yan. Or pwede natin palitan yung pangalan uh, for this. Uh, let's name it AFS. Okay, rename. Okay, and then save AFS. Uh, save, save PDF, I mean. Okay, so pag dito na kayo, nakasave na siya sa Adobe Scan app nyo. So, um, uh, what's uh, next that we would, uh, would do is go back to the EBPLS uh, website and then select yung kung anong requirement ang i-attach uh, so AFS or ITR to then choose file click na natin yung files and then browse uh, ito pwede open from recent yung gamitin natin tapos yung mga um, apps uh, may option din siya na browse files in other apps so um, Adobe Scan, select natin yung Adobe Scan okay, so ito yung yung first uh, file, ito yung kaka oh uh, ito yung, I mean yung last file pala, yung AFS na, na, pangalan, na pangalan na natin AFS ito yung isa-select nyo kasi ito yung um, pinicturean natin. Okay. So, meaning yan, na-select na. Pag nandito na kayo at naka, tsaka nakita nyo yung um, choose file afs.pdf. So, meaning na-select nyo na siya. All you need to do uh, from here is click upload file. Okay. Nag-load pa siya. So, you will know again if na at successfully attached siya if naka green check na yung uh, specific requirement. So, um, other um, option that I'm sh I will be showing you is kung um, wala talaga kayong other options like wala kayong Adobe Scan um, and uh, tsaka multiple page yung um, multiple page yung requirement and wala kayong scanner or anything um, this uh, this is last resort lang to though um, pwede namin i-accept na i-collage lang yung uh, dalawang images uh, provided na dalawang images lang siya kasi kapag i-collage natin more than 2 pages baka hindi na siya talaga makikita at uh, it might be there a, re a reason for us to decline your requirement. I mean, your application if hindi klaro yung requirement. Uh, let's say, for example, may dalawa akong um, ito, uh, the last two page and then the last two images that I captured earlier. So, iselect ko lang yung dalawa. Tapos, sorry. I think, wait, wait. <laughs> Sila ko yung dalawa, tapos create, collage. Okay, pwede yung ganito. Oh, 
Ada yang ganyan. Oke. Okay. If di kayo ma masyadong uh, familiar sa phone, pwede kayo mag um, ask ng anak nyo or mamangkin nyo na marunong mag um, collage. So, ganito. Ganito yung template na gagamitin natin. Pwede natin i-adjust yung uh, image para makita lahat ng content. So, click lang done. Okay. So, ito na yung image. And let's say, balik tayo sa ito ay yung sworn declaration. So, let's just uh, assume na sworn declaration siya. Click sworn declaration, choose file, um, files, tsaka pictures, collage. So, ito yung uh, naselect natin. So, click lang upload file. Okay, so once nag-successful na siya, again, magkakaroon na siya ng a green check mark. So, uh, punta na tayo sa second part, uh, which is yung pag-upload or pag-attach ng requirements using your uh, PC naman, yung desktop or yung laptop nyo. So, ito, gagamit tayo ng um, scanner at Um, if available yung scanner or if available na mismo yung document uh, madali lang pag-attach so uh, yes, let's proceed to the next part okay, let's proceed uh, as you can see, nasa uh, desktop na ako ngayon um, at saka kinontinue lang natin yung application, so um, as you can see uh, tatlo na lang yung walang Um, attachment so first warrant declaration uh, let's uh, uh, use a scanner as physical scanner o kung meron kayong available scanner mas um, mabuti uh, madali nyong mas mas kaskan yung um, documents nyo at ma-upload nyo dito so uh, sa uh, ginagamit ko ngayon is meron akong HP scanner And then, for example, nasa uh, scanner na yung document nyo, uh, ready for scan. <clears throat> okay, so, um, let's see here. So, for the first page, scan natin yung first page. Okay, so this is the first page and then if my second page pa tayo, I'll click lang natin yung add more pages from scanning device. So, scan ulit. Okay, so pag dalawang page na, tsaka kompleto na yung uh, document natin, pwede natin siya i-save. And then, i-save natin as uh, kung anong pangalan ng document. So, for this example, it was Gross Ano? Ano yun? Sworn? Okay, so available na siya dito. Uh, just make sure that na uh, malolocate nyo kung saan siya na save. So, uh, from EVPLS, choose file. Punta ka doon dito. So, save na siya. So, naselect na siya. Upload file na lang. Okay. Alright, so nagka-check mark na siya. So, um, one last option na pwede nyong 
gamitin for uh, scanning your documents and uploading it onto ABPLS is um, one website that we rec recommend is this pdfcandy.com uh, just type this uh, website pdfcandy.com and then maraming uh, tools na available merong pdf to word word to pdf excel to pdf and jpeg to pdf meron ding png to pdf as you can see pwede siyang ma-search dito okay so let's try jpeg to pdf and then add files let's see uh, let's um, say tatlong page yung file so click nyo yung tatlo click open and then convert file So, nagko-convert na siya at minimerge na niya yung tatlong JPEG file in one PDF file. Alright. So, converting 100%. So, all you need to do is download the file and then uh, rename it to document name um, let's just say AFS click save so na download na siya so balik tayo sa ABPLS select AFS or ITR choose file and AFS and then upload Okay. Alright, so nagloload pa siya. So, nakompleto na yung requirements natin. Alright, uh, by the way, one um, information is that yung um, requirements natin per document is limited lang siya up to 10 MB, uh, 10 MB na file per uh, requirement. At saka, as you can see, sa AFS at saka others uh, na requirement, hindi siya naka uh, red asterisk. So, hindi siya required for supporting documents lang sila. And also, sa PDF Candy, available din siya for download kung gusto nyo mag-download. And if na-download na siya, na-install na, ganito yung mukha niya, na desktop na app. Na nasa computer niya na talaga. So that's it. Um, I hope this helps. Have a great day. Bye-bye.